Hey Fruit Bats, it's Frilly Banana Girl here. Welcome to another episode. So today's video is a Fruit Bat chat and I've got a few of your burning questions here that I'm going to answer. I'm probably going to answer only two of them because it's going to take me a while to answer these. And i got a new top. What do you think? Got this off eBay and I really get excited when I get anything off the internet and actually looks good and fits and it's not expensive. So this was a real bargain. I think it's about like 10, look good, mate. 10 or 15 dollars. Yeah, yeah, the little good. troll. The little troll's come in to say hello. I just wanted to say why oi. you're watching here. here. Get Shh. fucking back on my oi, channel. Oi, 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 oi. What is this? Only I can swear on my channel. What is this? What is that? That's just like a sticky thing that you, you put the mobile against in the car you stick on the wall. Okay. I get out of here. Serious business here. Back in your cage. Okay, so... Let's get on to the first question, which is from Anita Arnold. Why are Victoria's Secret Angels skinny and fit all year round, which means that their diet is somehow sustainable? Firstly, are you with them all year round? No, you're not. I guarantee that their weight does fluctuate. I mean, we only see them on the catwalk, you know, a few moments on the catwalk and we see them in these Photoshop photos. Are we seeing the full story here? No, we're not, of course. And when you say fit, Remember, fitness takes time. You know, are they really fit or are they just skinny? Fitness takes time, commitment, carbohydrates, calories. Anyone can be skinny. Anyone can starve themselves into skinniness. And I did that for years and years when I was anorexic. So that is something that anyone can do temporarily. And I guarantee you that there's a lot of behind the scenes dodgy stuff going on with these models. I'm not saying all of them, but I'm saying the majority are doing some pretty dodgy stuff because they've got a lot of pressure on them. I feel sorry for them. They've got all this pressure to be like a size zero. I mean, by the way, I'm like a size four. So them like a size zero is a very, very small. And I'm sure a lot of them aren't meant to be that size because they're starving themselves a lot of the time. They're taking cocaine, they're addicted to weight loss drugs, they're throwing up their food. I was throwing up my food for years too, and it is not, it's definitely not a sustainable diet. So you've got to understand there is more to the story than meets the eye. I worked in some of the busiest gyms in the world, and I tell you, people are doing more than they want to tell you about because it's a very personal, private thing. I mean, I was doing a lot of stuff that my friends and my family did not know about, and they were not gonna hear it from me, that's for sure. And I used to train models as well, and starvation is the biggest thing. Because if you're having animal products as a model, if you're having animal products, you need to restrict your calories. Or else you're gonna go poof, you're gonna become a chubby. You just are. That's how it happens because animal products, they're low in fat fiber, high in animal fat, high in saturated fat, and those things do make you fat unless you restrict them and that just turns you into a nut job. I mean, I've been there a million times and now I eat as much fruits and vegetables and plant foods as I care for and I'm leaner than I was when I was trying to restrict my animal product calories because I'd binge out all the time. I'd be like, restrict, 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 binge, purge, Oh, and this awful cycle that goes on and on and on. So it's not sustainable. And these Victoria's Secret models, like their lifespan, their kind of lifestyle is only a short-term lifestyle. So you can do anything when the motivation is there, when you're promised with all this prestige and all this, you know, fame and this money, you're a Victoria's Secret model. It's pretty damn exciting. People will do all sorts of things to make that happen. So it, it's not... Things are not always what they seem. That's what I'm trying to say. Things are not always what they seem. So don't be naive and think that people can, these models are just, they just have skinny jeans and they can eat whatever they want. Bullshit. They do not have skinny jeans. And people have told me I've got skinny jeans. Uh-uh. I could be obese. Trust me. I could be obese. No problem at all. But I said no. I said no to it. And I said, no, I'm going to do what it takes to stay in shape to be fit and healthy, and it's within every one of you out there. So don't fall for this skinny jeans rubbish. It is not true. All this big bone rubbish. None of that is true. It's within all of your hands to be fit, lean, and healthy. But you've got to be patient. It takes time, as I say all the time. And the reason you've got to really pack in the calories, pack in the carbohydrates, is because you want your body to trust you again after years and years of dieting and restriction and deprivation. The brain's like, we don't trust you anymore. 
I don't trust you anymore. You need to show me that you've changed. Show me that you're not going to put me into another famine. You're not going to starve me again. You need to show me by giving me enough nutrition for long enough so then the brain starts to trust you again, the metabolism kicks back in, and then you start to get leaner and fitter and healthier. That's how it works. But not enough people are willing to go through the discomfort of having a bit of extra weight temporarily. But you got to get through that. I went through it, and it is worth it. I would not go back. Isn't it fantastic when you can just eat as much as you want? Eat as much as you want. Like, that's like, for me is the biggest payoff ever. I love to smash it in. I've always loved to smash it in and now I can actually stay lean and be healthy and happy. So that kind of goes above and beyond your question, Anita, I think. So I think I answered that all right. I hope it helped. If you found it interesting, give us a thumbs up. If you've got more questions, leave them in the questions below and I'll try to get to every single one of your questions eventually. No guarantee when though. Okay, so be patient, my little fruit bats, be patient. Okay, so don't forget to go fruit yourself. Woo! Or fruit yourself, fruit yourself, and I will see you soon.